All right, everybody, a damn CT guy for Shit and Shit TV. Today we got the CZ52. I love to dress up from the country that my gun is from. I, I think it's cool. I'll do it every once in a while for you guys. And I'm dressed up as what I think a typical Czechoslovakian person would look like. I got the cool holster. Uh, yeah, look at that. Back when it was part of the Soviet Union. So today, what we're going to do, I got some original Czech surplus ammunition. They probably can't see it. But it's original. Came on stripper clips. And then I also got this Bulgarian stuff. They're both magnetic, so that means the steel, steel core at least. Down there, there's a uh, steel plate. It's from my flu. And we're going to try to shoot it. It's not thick. It's probably not hardened steel. But we're going to see if one of these bad boys can make it through that piece of steel. I don't know. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But let's just give it a shot. Why the heck not? We're starting off with the check stuff first. If you don't mind. This is a huge gun. I mean, this is huge. So let's give it a shot. Hope you can see me. I don't know. All right, let's see. Nothing. feel safe shooting this stuff. No. Alright. <laughs> Take that out. Eject that. Now when I bought the stuff, I knew it was kind of iffy because it came from SG Ammo. And the posting did state that it was, uh, I don't know, 50-50 on whether it will work or not. So, not surprised. But I know this Bulgarian stuff works. But you know what? It's always fun to go out to the range with me because there's always something that goes on. Here we go. Act 2, take 2. We're going to give this one a shot. Boy, am I having some luck today. There we go. I hit it. I'm sketchy ammo. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Holy cow. This took chunks right out of that steel. No problem. I hit it three times. I don't know. At least two. Holy cow. Now that's the thinner part. Let's see if we can go with the thicker part next. time. I don't know. Let's drop the mag out. It's always interesting having shooting videos with me. Something always goes wrong, you know? It's the way it works. Nervous to shoot this stuff. <laughs> Good. I got another one. Hot off the ground. Safety on. Um, not 
Sure, bottom. Ah. All right. That was fun. Not. Nah. Let's go see the plate. Oh, yeah. Punched a hole right through it. All the shots that I was taking. Oh, it's the th same thickness all around, so it wouldn't matter. My famous shoot to the right. All right, I think it's the same thickness. Anyway, look at that. Crazy, huh? All right, let's do some more stuff. I have a can. I have a can of... Uh, Shaving cream up there. We'll see if we could tag it with one of these guys. Yes. more things. I got some cans kicking around here. Okay. Oh man. Not bad. See what else I got for targets kicking around. Okay, I got all my cans. Hmm. Got another can on the wall there. I see it. Let's make contact with it. She's accurate. Not bad. Everything smells like that shaving cream. Great. All right. Got that can set back up. Let's try it. That's killer, man, because that's like, makes me flinch. Delayed. I got the plate that time, no problem. No problem on the plate. <laughs> That's awesome. That was cool. <laughs> the uh, shrapnel from the bullet came up and hit the can and shredded the can. That's awesome. All right, I think I, I got one more of these. Ah, oh, the power of that thing was so much that the slide came back and stayed open. Hopefully I can close it, yeah. All right, we're good. Probably had a nice big deck because that's soft steel. Oh, wow. So, we did have pass through on one of them. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Let's see. 
No. Nah. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Probably not. But at the very least, we had some pretty good dings. Which are these guys here? This one takes a nice big chunk. So when it hit it, so that's why you don't want to stand close to a plate or get too close. You see all those little shrapnel marks that went through. Yeah, there's a lot of little pin shrapnel. Yeah, so that's interesting. That could be you if you get hit by the shrapnel. So, as always, an interesting range session with the CZ. <laughs> Dude, that scared me, man. Oh my gosh. And that tree's about to go. You know, it's funny. I, when I was shooting at that, a big chunk came up and I was just testing those CZ rounds. Big chunk came up and that's what made the tree weak enough and let it go like that. So that tree's gonna go too. That's funny. I start, I got all scared there for a second because I thought there was a tree around me that was gonna go. So, interesting. Anyway, thank you for watching my CZ52 video. I'll try to come back out with it and uh, we'll do another video with more dependable ammunition. We'll check out some of the uh, more factory standard ammunition instead of the surplus stuff. I have a lot of different surplus uh, varieties of 7.62x25. Uh, I only took out three and that check ammo I never shot before. So I had no idea what it was gonna do. It's a little sketchy. That's why I was flinching a lot because I don't know, you know, it's just, it's weird. So anyway, that was fun. Until next time. The Damn CT Guy with Shooting Shit TV.